Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I can't tell you how much it means to me. I am gonna do a look for you today with a soft goldy, little bit of a glittery eye and this deep lip. Um, the holidays are right around the corner and if you know me, you know that I love me some holidays and I love holiday makeup. So, um, if you'd like to see how I got this look and the products that I use to make it happen, then please keep watching. already have my foundation on, my brows, my highlighter, a little blush. So my skin's a little crazy. I'm sorry. I have been beating her up and she needs a little rest. So if it's a little bumpy, I'm sorry. But it just goes to show you that we're all just human. It kind of sucks, but we are. Um, so I apologize for that. But let's really focus on just the eyes and the lips for this tutorial today. So we're gonna start with a little bit of a goldy eye. I am going to start with my Evercolor Shadow Stick in Antique Gold. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go all over the lid, just like so, and really kind of get a nice, beautiful base. I'm going to do it underneath as well, all the way to, from the outer to the inner, and just really get a great sort of halo of color around the eye area. This is going to be a very fun, kind of festive, um, like kind of elegant-ish, but with a little glitter. So like elegant, but like a little sassy too. Um, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to blend it all over. So you see it's just a nice little illumination. Okay, so now I'm going to take what am I going to take? I'm going to take a little bit of this in the buff shadow and it's a little toe up. So, sorry about that. Um, and I'm going to take this sort of shimmery gold shadow and I'm going to blend it all over just to soften out the edges. But truthfully, guys, there's not going to be a lot of eyeshadow in this look. It's really going to be about just some pretty liner and a little bit of glitter because the lip is the star of the show. So back and forth, blendy blend. I can't help it. I do always tend to want to put a little tiny bit of a crease. It's just me and because I have this flatter hooded eye, I always feel like I need a little bit of that pop. So I'm taking a little bit of a brownie, uh, deep brown, almost with a little bit of a gold undertone. And I'm going to pop that right in the crease. Now I'm going to take that same sort of shimmery brown and I'm just going to soften and uh, line underneath this eye. Okay? So that's kind of it so far when it comes to the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take a little bit of um, brown eyeliner. This is brown, which is espresso which I'm weirdly going to use a little on my lips later. That's another conversation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brown and I am going to line the entire upper lid from inner to outer with the brown liner. Okay, just to get a little bit of definition. This is gonna go in and all the way to the outer corner. Just soft, get it all the way down deep within the lashes. You know what I always say. Okay, now I'm gonna take some black liner and I'm going to just sort of darken the outer half of the eye. Gonna do a little tiny bit of a baby cat eye, kind of like a kitten eye. Nothing crazy. I don't want it to be like glitter and dark lip and winged eyeliner, like it's just a lot. So I want to just sort of make it soft and subtle so the outer half of the eye is going to be a black liner with a little bit of a lift. Alrighty. And then if you want to get fancy, which sometimes I like to get a little fancy, take a little bit of a liquid liner and just very, very, very micro fine all the way just for a little bit of a fun, fun like, uh, you know, pop. 
So it's like three different eyeliners, but yet very, very small. Does that make any sense at all? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really didn't sleep much last night, so I'm trying to be articulate and teach you my ways, but really I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. <laughs> okay, anyway. All right, let's do a little bit of lash. I think you guys know I'm gonna curl, I'm gonna use a couple of coats of mascara, so I won't bore you with the details. Ready? Through the magic of television, it will be on. So as you can see, I now have my mascara on, two coats on the top, one coat on the bottom. I'm gonna take a little bit more eyeshadow, a very dark, dark brown with a little bit of gold glitter, and I'm going to take that and put it right on my crease. I just kinda wanna open up the eye a little bit. It's looking a little bit sort of like heavy here, a little bit puffy heavy. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this shadow and just kind of give myself a little bit of a crease and then I'm gonna blend the bejesus out of it. Okie dokie, now. So we're gonna leave the eye for a minute. We're going to take a break from the eye and we are going to visit the lip area. Um, we're gonna go for a very strong lip as you can see and we are going to do it sort of in stages. I find that when you wanna do a dark lip, if you just kinda slap it on, it. Um, it works sometimes, but it's nice sometimes to have a little bit of ombre, a little gradation, subtle ombre, not cray cray ombre on the lip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with my Royal Wine Lip Liner, first and foremost. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, kind of define and line the entire mouth area first, the shape that I really want, initial shape that I want with this liner. My mouth, I'm very honest about this, is very crooked, my whole face is very crooked, but my mouth for real. And this really helps to even it out and create the shape that I want. I am now going to take my, this is my Endless Lip Color in Bordeaux. And I am going to kind of fill in just the outer corners of the mouth. Just like so. Go all the way to the edge of the lip and all the way to the edge of the lip liner. I feel like I'm not talking so much in this video, but I feel like when you're doing a lot of lips, you have to be very careful not to. So if you wanna make sure that it's pretty even, just instead of rubbing your lips together, you know what I always do. Mama, Like that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a super dark lip liner. This is my rich lip liner, which is really, really dark, almost like a deep brown. And I'm gonna just sharpen the, edge, sharpen the edges. <laughs> Only in the outer corners, guys. I'm now taking my Endless Lip and Mulberry, and I'm going to kind of fill in here. Loving you is easy cause you're beautiful. <laughs> okay, so now as I'm getting it on, I'm starting to see how the shape of the mouth is not as exact as I want it, so. I'll be doing lots of blending and lots of overdrawing. The, I, I mean overdrawing over the lip. To me it's okay to do the lip and then go back and reshape. If you're looking at that mouth and after you're done and it's not perfectly even or it's not the way you want it, so what? Go back in and reshape. It's not, it's not done, okay? There's no rules in how you add the product. You can add, you can layer, you can reshape. Thank you. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my um, melted lipstick in Mally Mauve, and I'm just gonna do a little bit right here in the middle. 
just to kind of like make the lip a little bit more dimensional and make it come forward a little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, that's sort of what's going on with the lip, but I feel like we need a little something, something to make it pop. So, I'm gonna take a little bit of my MAC glitter in gold, and I'm gonna just take a little bit and pop it right in the inner corners of the eyes, just for a little funsies, as we say. Taking that um, gold Evercolor shadow stick again, and just giving it a little bit of moistness, don't you hate them? I don't like the word moist. Moistness. Take a little bit of the moistness and drop it right in there in the inner corners of the eyes. So we have something for the glitter to adhere to. So you take that and I'm gonna use an eyeliner brush because I wanna make it very specific, just like so. And I'm gonna tap it in and just give it a little pop. I am a glitter girl, all right? I am proud to say that I love glitter. I have no problem. I am a drag queen at heart. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It doesn't have to be cray cray. Although normally with me, what happens with glitter is I go, oh, I'm just gonna put a little bit. And then what happens? Next thing you know, your whole entire face is dipped in glitter. Just saying. Okay, now I'm taking a copper rose shadow stick because of course, as I do, I can't help it. I need to put a little bit more up here on top. And I always find that it's great to go in with your makeup routine. It's great to go in with like an idea, but don't, don't ever think that that idea is really exactly the way it's gonna go. You can really play with it. This is not holding my glitter. It's not holding my glitter. So I'm gonna take a little bit of something else. This is my lip palette. And I am going to take a little bit of this sort of lipstick. Yes, it is a white shimmery lipstick. And I'm just gonna pop it in there. See you guys, it's all about improvising. I cannot tell you how many times I have been on a shoot with Beyonce or Jennifer Lopez or anybody and we needed to like quickly make a decision to do something and you just gotta go balls out and say we're just gonna make it happen. It just makes me happy guys. I'm a drag queen at heart. And there you go. That's it. Just a little glitter just to sparkle up the eye. A little in the inner corners, it's a little messy, I'm not gonna lie, but that's when you get your tape. And just kinda take it off where you wanna take it off. Now, if I was feeling a little bit adventurous, I would then start putting the glitter on my cheekbones and then across the lid and maybe just a little bit in the center of the bottom lip, but you know what, I'm not gonna do that to you today. This is my very sort of fun, girly, easy, but you know, oh, there's some, careful, there's some falling down here and some falling there. And that's that, what do you think? You like it? So a little bit of a fun kind of um, deep lip, a little bit of a glittery soft eye, um, and it's a great little party look, especially now that the holidays are just around the corner. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you did, please subscribe and also hit this button because I love that button. And of course, comment anything that you want to say, good or bad, honey, I'm here because I I just want to be better for you. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you more than words can say. Remember, what makes you different makes you beautiful. I love you. God bless you, and I will see you soon.